Texas has struggled on third downs early this year, and this is going to be a third and 15 on their first third down try. It's complete to one of the true freshmen, Roy Williams. He's got about six. Well, operating even higher efficiency in the 2000 season. If you've been in a time capsule, how bizarre must it be to see Oklahoma open in the shotgun and on their opening play, Josh Norris 12 as Oklahoma jumps away 17-0 first quarter lead. Hypo over the middle has Antoine Savage and he's close to another Oklahoma first. Back-to-back -back first downs for Heifel out of the shotgun to begin. They try the middle screen, and this one is open for him. Savage defensively leading the Big 12 in third down defense. Heifel going to go for the end zone. Got a man. Touchdown. Andre Wolfolk and a perfectly thrown ball by Josh Heifel. That's going to be a key game out west. Hodges Mitchell buried again and talked about the difficulties, David, of Texas running the football. Well, Oklahoma clearly today, and they told us this, they're going to make Texas run the ball and prove they can do it. It is difficult for everybody to pivot, especially defensively, and get your footing on the wet field. And again, Oklahoma stacks against the run and stops them now. Facing a third and long for the first time, Hypo thinks about running for it. Great decoy, he finds Griffin for... Hypo, the shovel pass, which they use so effectively. Griffin pops several big plays with it last week, and he's got one here. On the catch and run, Quentin Griffin, 90% of his receiving yards are yards after the catch. Now he'll try some yards after receiving the ball, and he is close to another first down, down near the 30-yard line. Hypo on first down, now it breaks down, flares it off, complete. Matt Anderson. First and goal now. That's Fagan, the receiver in motion, bottom of your screen. Heifel. Out of bounds, inside the one. Quentin Griffin is the setback. He'll get it on the option. And he's there. Well, the Sooner faithful are going to make it difficult for them. Hodges Mitchell gets a couple and takes a big pop. It's still in negative numbers in rushing yards. They need at least one on third down, and they're not going to get it. Roy Williams comes up to make the big play. Like a lot of his teammates, he is in much better shape in the year 2000 than he was a year ago. And it has paid off. He's got a world of time here, and a man over the middle, complete Damian Mackey. First down and more. And Oklahoma with a 14-point lead and the ball, and a quarterback who's playing with a ton of confidence right now. Heifel's got a big gap. He will slide down inside the 13. First and goal. Griffin is in. I mean, Wilson guessed the defensive tackle is the one who hit Applewhite. Two incompletions in a row after a five for six start. Chris Sims waiting in the background, and down goes Applewhite. Torrance Marshall, the linebacker. They came at him hard on third and long. And Texas, they have to punt this away, trailing by 21. Heifel's uniform is clean, but Major Applewhite's getting that number 11 jersey dirty. Stockton's fourth kick, returnable for Thatcher. Stutter step, trying to get to the outside. He does, cuts back. Breaks one, breaks two. He's got a shot at it. Well, wants to come up with a touchdown, but also wants to keep that three points in his hip pocket with the big lead. Fagan around the corner. Inside the five. I mean, they're getting ready to run away and hide on this Texas ball club. The machine keeps on rolling. Griffin's third touchdown in the first half. All the Oklahoma fans are in the end of the field as the Sooners are defending here in the second quarter. A big play comes, but the wrong way for Texas. Rocky Kalmus, touchdown. This is the big...
biggest game in this rivalry, the Red River Classic, since 1984. And Oklahoma is turning it into a lapper early. 35 to nothing if they're successful on the extra point. And Rocky Kalmus, tremendous anticipation, stepping underneath that quick slant. Wow. Major Applewhite coming off the knee injury in the bowl game a year ago. Very rapid pro progress. Coach is worried about his status coming into the season, and I think it's affecting his mobility. He's going to keep on throwing from the pocket. Big hill to overcome in this game. Cutting back was Hodges Mitchell. Took a big hit and did not get to the first down. And for the Texas Longhorns, this has been like a snowball. Today, it's been old school Oklahoma football in the trenches where they have won every single small battle in a field possession game. And that has set it up for Josh Heupel. Oklahoma will be going a lot more to the ground. Griffin makes his man miss. Everett rolls the linebacker and then turns the corner for another Oklahoma first down. This is a slippery, elusive back. The adjective you'll always hear is water bug-like. Ronaldo works, who we talked about, the true freshman is now in as the tailback. Offset to the right of Heifel here on first down. It breaks down Heifel with plenty of time. He's got works. Up close to yet another. Oklahoma first down. wasn't too dominating that year, was he? Heifel flares one. Come play Josh Norman. And what a combination this has developed into over the last couple of weeks. Josh Heifel to Josh Oklahoma Norman will take the driver's seat in the Big 12 South if they can go to 5-0. and and Oklahoma still has to look at Kansas State and Nebraska in a potential matchup against either one of those teams in the Big 12 championship game. Latrell is inside the 10. First and goal. Training. Training was an issue under previous coaching regimes at Oklahoma. A lot of these players have battled through a lot of adversity, but today there has been no adversity. Touchdown, Fagan. And the eyes of Texas have been blackened at the Cotton Bowl today. Coming up at the half, Terry will sit down with his brother, Clemson coach Tommy Bob discusses sacrifices for success. Welcome well, the Bobs get together. Finally a big play. Hodges Mitchell into Oklahoma territory. Now the Longhorns will have to go into the Oklahoma half of the Cotton Bowl. And the Sooner fans are waiting for it. Applewhite has all day, has a man middle of the field. Another long pass play and a first down. By far, Texas' deepest penetration of the first half. They've got to make it count. Applewhite, the fade, has Williams, end zone, flag flies. They got the interference call again on Derek Strait. I'm not quite sure that ball was catchable. And the Longhorns get something on the board. You bet they can. Hodges Mitchell, touchdown Texas. Texas has been an exceptional kick coverage team in the first half of this 2000 season but not here Savage to the 45 for last year Texas scored 38 points in three quarters against Oklahoma Latrell on first down keep all three timeouts in their pocket, not try to get the football back. They would probably make the punt if they had to, but Latrell gets the first down. And that is going to do it for a first half they will be talking about in Norman for decades to come. The Oklahoma Sooners have made a huge impact on the national scene. They have dominated their arch rivals in the first half. Stay tuned for Valvoline Halftime 2000 after this message and a word from your ABC station.